Morning guys, it's about 6.30. Just got up, so. This stuff is horrible for you, but I don't care. Oh my God. It's good. What you watching, Owen? Good morning. How we doing? Hmm? Hello. Say good morning. Uh, today's a little weird because I actually do not have a first patient today. I usually start seeing people at nine o'clock. So my first person today is actually 10. So I got my first alarm at eight and then I have a pacing alarm around 8.30 and then I have a, a leaving alarm around 9.15 which will give me plenty of time to get to my 10 o'clock patient. Got yourself some breakfast there, buddy? Hi. So, usually no need for a morning alarm, because little O-O right here is our personal rooster in the house. He gets us up nice and early. Right? Ah. Yeah. Check that out, guys. That's a nasty little pimper right there. Just woke up with this this morning. I think it's because of the masks that we always have to wear. You know, they go right around the bridge in the nose. I heard it's called maskne. I got some maskne. <laughs> Ah, whoa. <laughs> Hold Hold on. Flush it. Yay. Yay. Look who else wants to be in the video. Good morning, Prim. You copping, Prim? Yeah. You like being in the video? <laughs> so guys, I tried using some of this uh, St. Ives scrub on my face. See if that helps. This is the, uh, the deep exfoliating. And then, Paired that with some coconut oil. It's good for stuff like acne, because it's got that antibacterial stuff in there. That's gonna help just keep the skin moisturized and healthy and away from bacteria and a little sun protection. Magic. So we'll see if it makes a difference on my face. It's looking pretty bad, guys. I think that's probably gonna be around for a while. Oh well. Real quick, if you guys are enjoying this video, leave a comment, give a big thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you around. All right, guys, so I'm at the computer. I've looked up all my patients, put their addresses into Google Maps. Basically, this just helps me kind of figure out how far each patient is from the last one and from me to start so I know when to leave the house in the morning and when I need to leave each patient's house in order to come up to the next patient on time. So it'll give me a snapshot of how far I have to go and how long it's gonna take. This is also good because I am tracking miles with this job. I get reimbursed for some of that. So the IRS will allow me to deduct my mileage. So basically every mile that I travel for work is something that I can deduct for tax purposes. So it's good to keep track of all that information. So time management is super important with this job. You definitely don't wanna be showing up to anybody's house late because not only will that probably make them mad, but it might be a problem with your employer and we don't want no trouble. Another thing I wanna mention guys, Google Maps, I was using them primarily to find my patients to navigate to their houses and stuff, but I've been realizing recently that Google has been messing up a lot. They've been taking me to the wrong place. So from now on, I'm using Apple Maps. They haven't let me down yet. So Google, sorry man, but you're, you're just dropping the ball here. I'm gonna use Apple Maps now because I don't trust you anymore. Throughout the day guys, it's important to stay hydrated and caffeinated. So I have been using this green tea that I get from Costco. It's a diet green tea, so it's got zero calories, which is nice, but it has a good taste to it. Being on the road, it is a little bit tough to try to balance hydration with bathroom breaks. Be a little bit careful with the caffeine content because uh, that is a bit of a diuretic and also the fluid itself. So it's a balance. I've also been trying this stuff called Liquid IV. This is supposed to be a good way to get hydrated. And I was thinking, you know, because of the content of it, it's got a lot more salt in it. So when you mix that with water, you know, you're thinking this is probably a concentration more similar to your actual blood. So maybe you wouldn't be wanting to pee as much water if you just drank plain water by itself and you were already at like a good sodium level and stuff like that. So I've been trying this to see if it's gonna help me as far as not wanting to go to the bathroom as often just for convenience purposes. That's what it looks like. Basically you just pour that into a water bottle. Um, so far, don't really know if it's made much of a difference, but that's what that stuff is. It doesn't taste the best, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this stuff works? Let me know in the comments. You guys might have noticed I'm wearing Cherokee scrubs here, but bang. So I, I've always worn Cherokee scrubs. I just think they're they're pretty comfortable, good price, seem pretty durable and stuff like that. Yeah, I have old pairs of Cherokee that are still going strong, so I think they're a good brand, but open to the idea of getting sponsored by a brand for scrubs. I mean, I've always just worn Cherokee because why not? But you know, if you guys have a nice brand you're thinking of, I'm open to suggestions. I actually do have the option to wear either business casual or scrubs to my work. I choose scrubs just because I think they're easier to clean. 
And sometimes if you guys have to go into a house that has like a lot of smoke smell to it, that can really get on the clothes. And I'd rather just save like the nicer clothes um, from having that kind of smell on them. It also just keeps things simple. You know, you wear the same thing every day. Just simplify your day in any way that you can, especially when you have young kids, pro tip. You guys are gonna simplify your whole life in any way that you can. So that's just another bonus of wearing scrubs. All right guys, so it's about 9.15, so I'm about to head out to my first patient. They're not actually 45 minutes away from me, but I do like to be a little bit early rather than a little bit late. Just kind of sets me up for success throughout the day. I'm not gonna have to worry about being late. Uh, and if things run a little bit longer than expected, I have that buffer built in. There's a popular saying that if you're early, you're actually on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're fired. We give everybody a call before we head over. This does a couple things. First, it lets me confirm their appointment, you know, because things happen. Sometimes people have to cancel or they were unaware of the appointment. So it's just good to double check to make sure that we're gonna have an appointment together. It also lets me screen them for COVID over the phone. We're just being safe. So we're really not seeing anybody who has any of the symptoms of COVID right now. Just playing it safe. And it's also nice just to let people hear your voice before you head over there. Helps build a little bit of a rapport, some trust before I go there. After all, I am a stranger going into their home. So any little bit helps. So that's good. Just confirmed my first appointment. So hopefully we're going to start the day out right. All right, guys, I apologize if it's a little bright out here. I need to get an ND filter for this camera. Anyways, here's my bags. This is my, uh, my book bag that has my laptop, charging cable, internet, all that kind of stuff in here. This is the other bag that I'm using. This has all the medical stuff. It's got the scale. Got some cleaning stuff in here. Just, you know, sanitizing everything. Got the PPE, gloves, gowns, wipes, all that good stuff. Over in here, got all the handy dandy things. Got the O2 sensor, got the stethoscope, blood pressure cuff, monofilament, pen light temperature thermometer sorry <laughs> yeah there's a plane going up above how about that got some extra PPE over here and uh, seeker weapon just in case you know sometimes you don't get lucky so this can come in handy all right guys we are on the road in one mile keep right to merge onto state route 150 south thank you Apple Maps I appreciate you so there's definitely a lot of driving with this job uh, and that is unfortunate. I don't really like driving. You know, you see all sorts of crazy people out on the roads and uh, you know, that's one of the downsides. But you know, if you're like me and you hate driving so much, you can just buy a Tesla. So yeah, that may be in the works. Maybe you guys will have a future video where you see Dave unroll his new Tesla soon, sometime you know, maybe like a year or something. I mean, my car is fine, so it's hard to justify like a, a new car payment, especially one that's kind of pricey like a Tesla. Uh, I do have a deposit down for the Cybertruck, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wait for that because it's probably gonna be years before I get my hands on it. So I think I just test drove a Model Y the other weekend and that thing was nice. I want that car. So maybe I'll get a Model Y, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice for the for the sake of just going on autopilot and helping drive. It just, you know, kind of reduces the fatigue that you get over the day with driving, but it is what it is. I just took my first sip of my drink. I like to put it off as long as possible just because, you know, bathroom breaks, you guys are gonna understand if you're field-based like me, it is one of the things you're gonna have to think about a lot, so. Let's mask up and uh, get this done. All right, guys, I just had to cancel an appointment. We're gonna have to reschedule. Apparently they weren't aware of the appointment. Uh, I did call ahead, I left a voicemail. I didn't get right in touch. So, you know, this does happen sometimes. You know, you run into circumstances where people just are unaware of the appointment. So you try your best, but uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. So we'll just have to reschedule this one. So it's about 11.10. So we're gonna have an early lunch break today and a pretty long one because I don't think I see anybody else until about two o'clock. So. I'll see you guys at home. All right, guys, we've got some Chipotle for lunch. This is rice, chicken, cheese, veggies, and the tortilla. Hey guys, that was really yummy food. Now I gotta try to work out a little bit, keep the blood moving so I don't fall asleep after lunch. This is a good way to stay energetic throughout the day. I'm sure a lot of people don't have the ability to come home at lunch and work out. So that's kind of one of the nice things about this type of job is you do have a lot of flexibility with your schedule and I can come home for lunch uh, and get what I need to get done. I'm also gonna go finish my charts from this morning before I head back out. So 
let's get to it. All right, guys, lunch break's about over. It is about 1.30, so we're gonna head out to the next patient, and we got three more people until the end of the day, so. All right, guys, just got done with another patient. Uh, interesting thing, actually, when I was calling beforehand, the patient actually thought that I was supposed to be there the previous hour, and I was confused, because of course on my schedule, I'm seeing it as a correct time. I was supposed to be there at three, but she thought I was supposed to be there at two. And even if you know that you're not making a mistake, which I knew that I wasn't, it's good just to be apologetic and, you know, understanding to the patient, you know, you're not trying to make waves. I know some people will probably react defensively, maybe like try to get upset, have like an argument over the phone. I just don't think it's worth it. So I was just like, oh, I'm sorry about that. But hey, you know, are you still able to do it? You know, I can be on my way right now. And she was fine with it. And it turns out when I got there that she said, you know, she actually had the date wrong. It's actually, it was correct. Uh, you know, there's no need to make a mountain out of a molehill sometimes, guys. You know, just let little things go. Just try to be flexible. And uh, I'm glad everything worked out all right. All right, this day's getting weird. I just was calling my next patient to make sure uh, that our appointment was good to go and they canceled. So that's the second cancellation today on an already short day. So we've only seen three patients today and had two cancellations. What a day. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna wrap up and head home and enjoy the rest of the day, which is kind of nice because it's really nice outside, especially for November, freakishly warm. So I'm gonna try to enjoy the rest of the day. What's your name? Oh my. What? What's your name? Hey! What's your name? For dinner, we're doing a pulled pork sandwich from a place called Mission Barbecue. They are a chain and they are delicious. So if you guys have one near you, I highly recommend their pulled pork sandwich. This is incredible. This is the one with coleslaw. I have some of the Smoky Mountain barbecue sauce on it. This is insane. What do you have, Owen? I would have that. You got the popcorn? Oh, yeah. very nice. Guys, that dinner was awesome. So I'm gonna go finish my charts for the day now and then maybe do some editing for YouTube videos and then head to bed. I use uh, melatonin to go to bed every night. Probably just all the years working night shift. I think maybe my brain just doesn't like sleeping at night without help anymore, but I think this is a good brand. It's the fast dissolve type, tastes like strawberry. It's 10 milligrams. Usually just take one, sometimes I have to take two if it's a pretty bad night trying to get to bed. I'm trying to be good about cutting off caffeine around noon or so, but you know, sometimes life just gets in the way and you need a little extra boost. So this just helps wind things down in a natural way and I think this is a good brand. Natrol, you know, whenever you're using a supplement like this over the counter, it's not FDA approved. So basically the standards are a little bit more relaxed. And that's why good brand recognition is important because some brands are more reputable than others. Uh, some of them have like independent testing and stuff to try to verify that you're actually getting what is in the bottle or what it says on the bottle. So I think this is a good brand. It seems to be working well for me. And if it's placebo, oh well, it's not that expensive. So, uh, and it seems to work well for me. So I take this at night. Alrighty guys, good on you for making it to the end of this video. I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. I'm sure it's a longer one. This is something new I'm trying out. Let me know how you like it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment for anything you're wondering about down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.